Hi guys, welcome to Maca Beta Review. Uh, this review was inspired by Sherisa underscore R and a couple other people who asked me to share my experience of using Maca. My name is Łukasz Mazurek and I've been beta testing Maca for the last two and a half months. Also, I do have access to some internal builds, so I think I have a pretty good knowledge of uh, the app's abilities and a bit of perspective on what's coming soon. I would like to remind you that the app is still in beta and uh, weird things can and will happen, uh, probably even during that screencast. So just keep that in mind. If we're going to encounter any bugs along the way in this screencast, I'm just going to ignore them and work around them. And I ask you to do the same, just ignore them because uh, most of them will be fixed pretty soon, that's f first of all. And second of all, well, there's already another build that's almost ready for release which has some of these bugs fixed. First I'm going to tell you mo what Maca is. After that I will show you its interface and talk a bit about usability of Maca and how easy it is to use it. Then I'm going to show you an example of responsive design. Also I'm going to show you uh, Maca's code output. And then I will talk briefly about a range of sites that can be created with Maca without relying on another app. Okay, so what is Maca? Well, it's a new shiny piece of software for web design that bridges the gap between design and code. It's very different from others like uh, Webflow, Adobe Reflow or even good old Dreamweaver. And the main difference is that it lets you design in an environment that feels more like an image editor than a WYSIWYG app. After you draw some elements, uh, Maca figures out the best way uh, to convert them to code. So it's great for fast prototyping, uh, for general web design, and you get good code output along the way. So all of that uh, while working on a fluid and responsive canvas. So it's a really amazing piece of software which, with a very dedicated team. Let me show you around uh, Macav's interface now. Uh, on the left hand side you've got the tools palette uh, with all the basic tools. You can pick an just anything. I will enable the grid. Uh, as you can see while drawing things tend to snap to the grid and they also snap to themselves uh, or to other elements using uh, smart guides. One of the most important things uh, in Maca is that you can either draw uh, elements using percentages or you can set you can set their width or other parameters uh, in pixels. So for example this one is defined in uh, this one's width is defined with percentages and this one's uh, defined with pixels and let's see how that affects elements when you resize the canvas so as you can see the one which was de uh, defined using pixels keeps the keeps its width intact and the one which was defined using percentages uh, adjust to the width of uh, the canvas and you can set elements uh, various parameters for elements like backgrounds, background color uh, you can add borders you can uh, create rounded edges uh, rounded corners uh, you can add different effects like drop shadows, uh, text shadows, stuff like that. You can control the opacity of elements. Uh, I won't go into details uh, this time. Uh, probably I will do another review or, or a tutorial. Uh, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to uh, just pick something up, 
draw some draw some columns you can put some text inside okay let's expand this let's change the font size adjust line height set text color and it's it's as easy as that so for me the app has a really good usability it's easy to pick everything up and at the same time uh, it's really good for power users you can find really a ton of small things that help you be more efficient that help you speed uh, the work a bit speed up speed up the work a bit and uh, for example you've got shortcuts for all the tools which is pretty obvious but you, you also can control tools um, sorry elements uh, position uh, not only by nudging uh, them but also by snapping to to the uh, to the grid and you can resize them as, as well snapping to the grid uh, if you need some stripe for the whole uh, whole width for example you can you can expand it and do it twice and it expands to the full width of the canvas uh, so it's it's really great uh, there are a lot of uh, tools for typography like for power users uh, there's a lorem ipsum gen generator built in uh, you can just type lorem then for example 1p which means one paragraph or 2p and we've got two paragraphs of text let's resize that a bit uh, you can also generate words so not only uh, it's good for content copy but you you can create some headers as well for example uh, let's create a header with uh, six words And let's set the padding or probably line height here. Okay, so as you can see it's it's really uh, really fast, really fluid. Uh, there, there are also some uh, mathematical expressions built into uh, various uh, things like you can add 10 pixels to y position just to sum it up uh, the i think the usability and interface is is pretty good it's really easy to pick up okay guys uh, thank you for watching i will show you some more in the second part of the review where I will talk about responsive design and other stuff. Once again, thanks for watching and bye bye.